Spirits Beer Hall videos. So, um, this is a, a Father's Day Beer Hall off my um, oldest son. Um, went to yesterday the Crafty One Bar and Bottle Shop in Ilkeston, uh, just on the uh, Nottinghamshire Derbyshire border. Um, I was highlighted to them from a, a good uh, nano brewery in, the, in Nottingham, well, again, Nottingham border. Urban Chicken Ale sent me some, um, a list of what the beers they had in stock, and it was an impressive list, top class list of beers. Went down yesterday, gotta say, absolutely wonderful. I'll just apologise, one minute. Mm. Absolutely amazing um, collection of beers. So I've had to split the beer hall up because I've got a draft beer hall which you've already, I've already drank and reviewed and totally enjoyed it. <laughs> and now I've got the um, craft beer hall. Now one must remember. The, 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 the craft beers these days from the big breweries in the UK, they're not shop prices. One must always remember that. Um, and for me, it's quite the venture out. Uh, but it was a, it was a Father's Day uh, present for my son, so it's all good. And uh, long, way, long may I get more Father's Day beer halls and whatnot. So anyway, thanks Jamie, my son. So this, the first one I picked up was from Boxcar and Daya Colab. And apparently this is, this is a very new beer. 12 quid for the bottle, so, whew. Um, An ABV of 11%, it is a barley wine. I will have a, I will get the magnifying glass out, get any information I can. An old school English barley wine, big, rich, lashings of English hops, delicious. Please store and serve at cellar temperatures. This beer is vegan friendly. Best before 2026. Wow. Brewed and bottled at Daya Brewing in Cheltenham. DayaBrewing.com. My first ever Daya beer. That I remember anyway. That I can remember. So that's number one on the list. That, that was one that really tickled the raggy fancy. There were some people sat in front of the beers and I could have sat there for an hour going through each beer. Such was the impressive amount of beers. And they also had four or five bottles of the Emperor and Castle Rock Brewery um, collab. So next on the list. From Glasshouse, and I've heard a lot about this. <laughs> Turn the notifications off, did I? Apologies. Um, this is from Glasshouse, and this is their deep, uh, deep seeded O2 slash 21 tart fruit pale black currant. Um, I've heard a lot about Glasshouse from fellow beer reviewers such as. Um, Kent Bay Reviews, Hop Zine, Rampant Lion, Blue Nose, um, Mersey Bears and Blue Nose Bears, and um, Bowman's Bears, at some stage at least. So this is made in Birmingham. It Birmingham? Um, yeah, crap accent. One does apologise. Glassbeer.co.uk. So, Glass House Bear, does that say? Yeah. So, yeah, a sour from them. And again, Pretty land new as well, as far as I know. So next on the list, from Alpha Delta again. I had a draft of theirs yesterday. And this is Alpha Delta Vesta. And it's a Spectrum New England IPA. Um, unfined, unfiltered, unpasteurised, brewed in Newcastle upon Tyne. Um, illustration by www.jimmyturrell.com. Um, oof, that writing, um, doesn't really say anything on the back. Um, but yeah, so what's the ABV? Seven 
6.8%. So, next one to tickle the raggy fancy is from Overtone and it's their last bus Tayoka, whatever that means. Uh, a triple IPA, 11%. Um, <clears throat> a triple dry hops with Idaho, Seven, Mosaic and Sabro. This beer is not shy on flavour. Huge mango and sweet pineapple flavours with subtle hints of coconut and peach. It's an 11% of this one. And it's from Glasgow, Overtone. So yeah, there's the can. Blooming fly, I saw it came in two minutes ago. This was £7.80 for the can. So the, the uh, glass house one was 5 40 The Alpha Delta was 7 80 And this one, again from Overtone, ah, missing a can, oh it's there, it was £8.30 as well. So these are treat beers, you know. So I hope, I hope they live up to reputations that other beer reviewers and themselves. So this is Crystal Ball. It's an 11% beer. Just what, and another teeper. Just what we'd all like to have, a Crystal Ball. Fair play there, damn right. This beer may not be that, but it's triple dry hot with Cryo, which is good enough for us. A huge tropical burst with a smooth, dank finish. Will take your mind off the future and focus on what's in your hand. I'm always up for taking your mind off the future. Doesn't pay to think too much about things in life. Trust me, don't overthink. And that's from somebody who does suffer with anxiety. Overtone. So two from Overtone. A day here. And then there was this fella. Now this fella from Browridge. That's how you pronounce it. Keys. We'll call it Keysboro for simple. This is a caramel fudge stout cognac edition. Um, an 11.5% imperial stout aged on cognac barrels. This is what Master Brewer Keys Bubberman, owner of Browridge Keys, stands for. Together with his fam familiar team, Keys Brews are surprising beers with bold flavours. The beers are of the best possible and constant quality. Good to hear. Brewed in the classic style with their own twist, these beers are full of character and surprising in taste. Cheers. Keys Bubberman. 11.5% hops of sriracha and ace, malts of pale caramel and chocolate. And it says here cat s in doppia molto so i don't understand what that means uh ebus of 25 ebcs of 88 temperature 10 degrees centigrade obviously what you're supposed to drink it at um but yeah so cracking beer hall from a cracking shop gotta say uh if anybody's in around the ilkeston area uh driving through on business or whatever Or actually lives in the community, you yeah, know, Nottingham, Derby, Leicester. Um, a very interesting shop. Not only just for the beers, but the drafts as well. Oh. Right. I've got to take a photo and do some Instagramming. I do love Instagramming. It really makes me chuckle. But tagging people and letting them know you're there, letting them know it's a good way because it lets that lets it lets companies and breweries know that you're about. And maybe they may watch your reviews. They may not as well. They may not care. But um, nonetheless. And uh, right. Got to say. Fantastic beer hall. Thanks to my son. And uh, this is the second of four beer halls today. So I want to apologise for spamming your time. But I think you'll agree. Cracking beers. Cheers everyone. Ta-ra.